Good day, Lord and Ladies. Welcome back to War Tales Me and the Tales of the Kerner Company. In the last mission, in the last episode, we basically did some little bits and pieces and picked up what looks to be the final story here, which is to go, the final story mission for Ladurn, which is to go and do the uh, mission here, which we are going to do. Um, we also have some still have some outstanding stuff like the rat's nest and locations we haven't found yet, which we need to basically do that as well. Um, but hey ho, first of all, let's focus on the story. The trackers want to go to this location and they want us to deal with... Uh, yeah, fine. Master Thief. Free food is free food. Right. Let's get some cooking done. Uh, I want to save the wheat. Actually, I think I've got enough wheat now for it. Is it just the... Because I want to make the bee thing. But I don't think I have enough rope. No, I do not. Because... I've been, I haven't been particularly good at picking up stuff. Okay. Looter's Torch is what we want to make, because these things are really good. And they last a long time, and they give us a lot more light than comparison to the normal. So, let's go with that. That made... Right. I know a lot of people have been saying to me, like, my my guys are the most well-fed... Like, the most well-fed um, bunch of mercenaries they've seen in the Let's Play series. But... I believe in keeping my party members well-fed. Um, partly because it just gives you such better buffs. It also saves you a lot of money down the road. Okay. You make a single apple pancake. Um, I need ten wheat. I can make a single thing of porridge. Okay. Rightio. So get that done. Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs? Uh, that's fine. Not the best way to use the pork, but it's better than nout. Okay, I have to hold off using that for the next time. Right, we need to go this way. Ah. Every single time with these things. Grab some fish. Okay. Yeah, swing through here. Want to get out of this region. Like, as I said multiple times, I don't like this region at all. Um, I think it's a pretty frustrating area to be in. Um, I find it to be quite tedious. Especially the Mac amount of backwards and forwards you have to do. Uh, 
Okay, so if we're here... No, we did go in the right way. I don't know if I had the... Uh, this is gonna suck. We can win. There's 19 of them, though. You, you, okay. Can't easily get to that group, I don't think. Okay. Yeah, this group's going to be problematic. I'm not going to be easily able to... Oh, he's going to do fire arrow as well, which is annoying. Okay, I might just forsake... Where's... I have a soldier that's really good against dealing with fire troops. Is it you? Yeah, it's you. So what you're going to do is you're going to get here and then you're going to go and deal with a lot of these guys. Because their fire isn't going to be effective against you. Okay. You're going to go and deal with this group. You're on your own down here, which isn't great. Yeah, that should be fine. They haven't got a lot of shield dudes, so it's not the biggest issue in the world. Okay. It's going to be Europe first, followed by the other guy. And that's fine. Get here, please. That's fine. Who's the next biggest pain? It's gonna be this person here, is it? Okay. Can't deal with you. But we can just kill you straight out. Right. Down here, you're gonna be a pain, so let's get you going. Want to make it so we are a juicy target. Oh, he's gonna ignore us. Yeah, that sucks. You okay.
Next up is this group. Him out. Then it's the group down here, which should be fairly easy to take care of. I definitely feel they nerfed the Great Swordsman. I need to get him a better sword, really. Punch the bear. Right. Can't remember what oil he's got in his weapon. I haven't put any oil on it yet. Okay. That fire damage is nasty. Okay. Then it's you. Well, if we're going to do this... They came out of the picture... Let's just try and finish up this fight as quickly as possible. Very nice. Yeah, they're going to lob another bunch of fire on top of our guys. I'm not really inclined to take that. It's you. Oh, he can actually get to me. Oh, that sucks. Bear should be able to eat his damage for a bit. Okay, it's you. You. 
Bunch of fools. Hoping we can break the fight quickly. <sighs> Come on, there's like hardly any guys left. I don't think my guys over here are in good enough range to help. You can get some of them. And even then, it's really limited. Just need to kill a few more and we can break their resolve. There's that guy down there, can't do anything about him. The wolf's not going to be anywhere close enough to do anything. Okay. Out, didn't realize it's a trap there. Now, well, let's take the hit. Yes, let let them run. Uh, what did we get? I mean, they're not good, and I would like to get rid of them because I'm about to go into a tomb. Hideaway area. Uh, doll and some money.
There are only a couple more locations we haven't found yet. Which are probably going to be like up here and in this region. Okay. Right, let's rest. Don't have a lot of cook supplies. Besides, well, we do have. Okay. Okay. The three points. What are we going to learn? Um, this one, these two don't really care about. Like if I say, I grow a sample to tame from each rat, increase the of one. Companions have increased armor, for instance, by wearing matching helmets. Drinking buddies on the release screen. It's basically, basically spending influence. As far as the knowledge points. I mean, it's unusual, but it's not rare. Gurney level 2. Level 3, I should say. Um, brewing that. Assign brew, just brew fruit alcohol during rest. I mean, that could be cool to have. Okay. So we'd assign a brewer, okay. These ones are all basically the pouch ones, which I, I don't think much of. I mean, they're okay, but some of the other pouch objects you get are much better for builds. Because if you're going heavily into ton tonics, then yes. Okay. This seems wasteful. Free knowledge points just to get an extra... Um, Plague infestation resource meets pop. And this one is very vague. Wearing matching armor and helmet increases her armor and guard. So it has to be the same like make. Oh, it's not clear enough to me. These two don't seem worth it. Requires a knowledge point. Requires a knowledge point. Food wise. Boiled eel, roast bass. Could be doable. Okay. Regroup during bat preparation. Allies presents are close to each other. That's fine. Flanking, I really like the flanking buff. Okay. Um, XP would be good. Let's grab the knowledge buff. And let's craft that. Okay. 
We haven't got a ton of room left, to be honest. And that needs a sign, bruh. Don't think that's a job where we can get the brewer. That's a con and crit hit. Okay. Bit of an odds choice, to be honest. Um, minor. Minstrel. So that basically makes alcohol. Still need more rope. I'm going to dismantle those because, to be honest, it's going to do the going to basically. Ah, that cost us weight. Okay, fantastic. Um. Let's make some lock picks. Drops our weight down a tad. Tinkerer, and that reminds me. Where are the fancy, fancy torches? Okay. Can't set people on fire with these, this gives more light. Okay. So here's a tomb that no one is supposed to go to because it's sacred. Take this. It's dark inside. We cannot come with you. We must patrol the grounds. The beast could return. Okay. Entering the tombs is taboo for our people. The gods built them and still dwell there as spirits. But the thing is, like, we know the gods didn't build them because the empire that built them has... This is the thing I find weird about the lore of this setting, is that... If I remember, remember reading right, the lore for these ruins is that it's basically like the Roman Empire built them, and they've only been gone a few hundred years. They're not sort of like, oh, like thousands of years ago. It's like, no, a few hundred years has passed. I've never had the honour of going inside. You must be the first strangers who are allowed to set foot in there. What an unsettling day. But we must punish the raiders and stop them from causing any further harm in Ludern. Are you ready? As so we've got her, probably shouldn't have brought her. Yeah, yeah, okay. I can't quite believe we are actually here. I never thought I would have this honor. We're about to explore the tomb of a man and a woman revered as guardian gods in Ludern, and are among the foremost deities of Harag. Yeah, but they're not. This is the thing. This is the thing I find. I keep. I keep repeating it, but it's the thing I find really frustrating about the setting. Is that their law and the settings law makes little to no sense because they worship the people that built this like they're gods, but they've only been gone a few hundred years. Like I think it's like four or five hundred years. These people have been gone. 
since like the sort of end of their Roman Empire. It might not even be that long. And description reads Huron, maybe the name of the woman in the statue. There's some reads Narcess. Is it the name of the man in this statue? So you've got basically an archer, an archer, and a lady with a spear. Okay. Just checking to make sure we don't miss anything. Right is always best. Old moth eaten drapes and mirrored spiders. Yeah. Set it on fire. Pile of bones. Like, the thing is, I can understand keeping people out because it's important to you, but these guys are openly killing anyone that goes near this place. So I'm, I'm having a hard time being sympathetic to them, to be honest. Um, one second, folks. Okay. More torches. Uh, collar of loyalty. Warriors were buried at the same time as an as the main occupants of the tomb. Hard to say what was honourable or as a sacrifice. I don't think it was honourable, judging by how that piled up. Okay. Let's keep an eye out for runes. The atmosphere of the hall is strange. The companions can sense eyes watching them. Pot chat on the floor, giving away the creatures that were following them. Okay. Do we have a light source? And we have to keep this Muppet alive. It shouldn't be too hard. As long as we have enough light spread throughout the area. Flaming sword will come in handy. Don't know how many there are, but we should be able to relatively quickly break them easily. Stay back in the light, please.
Okay. Yeah, we need to basically tighten up our edge. Don't run off into the dark. But of course you're gonna, because the AI in this game is terrible. That's not nice. You know, I'm not going anywhere, I'm just staying on the defensive. Yeah, let them run off into the dark. Take that, take that, the rest don't really care about. Extra food though. A scholar companion might be able to decipher the inscriptions on the headstone. You should have some read. Whoever whom you challenge, intruder, know that Narses never lets an offence go unpunished. Okay, and it's a yellow triangle. This, the mark here is the yellow triangle. Let's inspect the wall. Okay, so it's the hero, Nar says. Yeah, Nar says the hero fighting what looks like to be the um, ghost monster, the ghost beast, shooting it in the eye of an arrow, perhaps? You've learned Rune Lake. Okay. grave is empty. That's impossible. The god's body should be here. Those 
damn scholars. They had the gall to move him. We must find them before they take him from Ludern. Yeah, but there's like no guarantee that... Those damn scholars. It's booby-trapped. How have they moved him, lass? Like, this is the thing that... You were... You are like, like, oh, yep. I'm not going to use my good medicine on you. Um, it's like, those damn scholars are like, yeah, but like... He might not have even been buried there. Uh. Like, if we have to fight them, I will just let her go, because I really don't like these guys. Okay. Yellow triangle. That's definitely the ghost pack beast thing. You can use a golden key to get it open. Anything here hidden away? Inspect. Something in the folds of the banner. You get a ruby. Okay. Uh, yellow. You got, you've got plenty of gold keys stored. Is that unstable oil? Okay. So you can, if we can get some of brandy or some of the with the brewery skill, we can basically get alcohol being made. That's fine. Unstable oil to do every attack after hand enemy close combat. Don't have a chance to follow up with an attack of opportunity. Okay, not bad. One second, please. So about that. All right. Okay. So we're back. I'm going to put a cut in here, folks. I've been Cornish Knight. This has been War Tales. And I shall see you again all next time. Goodbye.